supervisor, what do you think about it? Hmm? Oh, it's Holly approved. Alrighty, good morning, y'all. It's LA Appliance Guy, and look what we got to play with this morning. It's a Freon leak detector that Top Test sent me um, to review and test out, and I've been waiting to get into this Frigidaire. It's like an 18 cubic foot, fairly new, not very stinky, so that's a win. Stank. Stank. Ooh, spank. <laughs> but it come from a buddy of ours. Uh, he's a, he has some rental properties, but he's also a HVAC tech and he's been putting Freon in it and he replaced it and said we could have it. So, um, or at least try and find the leak, see if we can save it. So let's give it a shot. I don't smell, I don't smell it in there, but maybe our sniffer can. So some of these sniffers are very, very expensive, like 800, 1,000, $1,200. But this one's very uh, cost effective for a DIYer or somebody like me uh, who might not use it all the time but it uh, detects all types of Freons. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm not a big specs dude, but it's got some kind of Japanese sensor and blah, blah, blah. Let's see what it does. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so they sent this thing to me for free um, to try out and let's see what it does. Nice little protective case for sure, because you want to be protective of these things. USB-C rechargeable. Nice, very cool. Nice little protective case. Lots of instructions. Must be, yeah, different languages. Okay, cool. So, let's power it on. Oh, I guess you got to hold it. Yep, hold power button. Welcome, very cool. Top test. I guess that's how you say it. See, it's testing the LED, light, buzzer, vibrator, okay. And storage. So I plugged this baby in yesterday and it never even changed temperature so it might not be sensitive enough to really sense it no let's get some uh, gauges on it and let's see if we can uh, get it running and we'll take this back wall out and see what it does see what it does okay we just got her plugged in the compressor come on the fan motor condenser fan motor come on and the evaporator motor's on. Okay, so everything's running. That is the first step to any refrigerator repair. Let's get the back wall out. So he's already put a Schrader valve process tube on there. Man, I don't feel barely any temperature change. That's not good. All right. Alrighty, we got our gauges. Compressors running. I don't feel any temperature change in the high side. Maybe a little bit. That small line there is supposed to be kind of warm or hot. And then your low side over here will be cool or room temperature. Oh, I heard a little s Oh, that's because it's in a vacuum. There is no Freon in here. Okay. <laughs> it ain't gonna smell it if it ain't got no Freon. All right, so what should we do? Maybe put a little bit in there and see what it does? Okay, so I got our baby on there. Uh, I'm gonna put it right up in here where the uh, nozzle is and let's see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely working. <laughs> okay, so tighten up our 
Let's shoot some in. See, it's tight now. So, let's shoot a little Freon in there. And then we'll let it run and see if we can maybe pinpoint the leak with it. It's worth a shot. All right, so let's see, our tank's off. Yeah. It definitely knows there's Freon coming out of there. <laughs> but of course, when you take that off, ah, so it's closed down and no leak. Sucker's working good so far. Now there's three sensitive settings of, uh, you know, three different sensitivity settings. So we might have to try and play with those two eventually. Look at this. So we obviously have something going on here. <laughs> uh-huh wow i like this okay so you can literally that is awesome talk about a time saver wow okay so we obviously have some uh freon going through our lines here you can even hear it. It's getting cold. Hmm. See, that's why sometimes you have to play with the sensitivity of these things because if it's too sensitive and you go in and boop, 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 you know, it's, it smells it in here in the whole area. But if you get it down to where it's like more, you know, more sensitive to pinpoint it, um wow that is crazy this is so fun i'm just gonna close it up and let it run and then see if i open the door again and it smells it again because obviously it'll be concentrated in there um wow super cool and this is going to be handy for everything small air conditioners i mean you literally could put it up in here and see if you've got a leak um this unit has no freon in it so it's not gonna beep on it. But I mean, ACs, freezers, refrigerators, little wine coolers, vehicles. Um, I don't have a leak in my vehicle, thank goodness, because it's like 112 degrees out here. Um, but this could probably find it. This is great. Thank you for sending this to me, by the way. I I'm gonna put it through its paces. <laughs> All right, so just to be sure, we're gonna do a little bubble test down here, just to make sure we ain't got no leaks right y'all. I don't see none, no bubbles, no bubbles, we're good. Alrighty, let's give her a go again, see what she says. Yeah, must have a very slow leak in here. Because it's picking it up when it's closed up. It must be a very slow leak. We might have to pump it up and put the bubbles to it now. But we pinpointed it where the leak is. So, you know, back in the day. I'm going to turn it off. Hold it to turn off. When you're working on these things. Please don't fall. You have to either put some dye in the system and run the UV light over it, letting it run, and then it's gonna leak back out and you'll see the UV dye. <laughs> or you bypass the walls. You pressurize it and you spray down and you look for bubbles. You cut the high side out of the walls there and there, cap them off, pressurize it again. See if it's leaking in the walls. But now, since you open the door and bam, you're hit with Freon, you know it's got to be up there, just about. I mean, uh, so what we'll do now is is uh, probably just pressurize it and put the bubbles on it and see if we can find the leak. But if I'm out at somebody's house, you pretty much just price the evaporator, see if you know what it costs and if it's available and slap an evaporator in it, pretty crazy. Good stuff. This is gonna come in real handy. 
Look at that. It's got a light too. Oh, look at that. We definitely had a reading right there. I feel like some of those ghost hunting dudes. Dude, bro. Dude, dude, bro. Dude, bro. Bro. But you know, with like actual Freon floating around, not like spirit orbs or stuff. Watch me not be able to find it. Hmm, y'all see any bubbles yet? It is leaking down pretty fast too. Seems like we would be able to find it. I might go ahead and bypass the walls, um, cut there, cut there, solder them up, pump it back up. Solder, solder. Coffee first, safety second. Talk about a time saver with this thing when you just open the door and see the beep. Wow, there it is. Uh, so you can uh, go ahead and handle the problem. But here we're gonna pressurize it, uh, cut the walls out. So we know without a doubt it's up there in the aluminum. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. And this thing comes with a three year Woo warranty. Fire hot, like a pot belly stove. So, now we have the walls bypassed. We're gonna pump it back up to 200 or 250 pounds, see if it continues to leak. From the readings we got off the sniffer, it probably will. Um, must just be a very slow leak in that aluminum evaporator, which we can't solder on, so we're gonna have to price it. Hang tight. All right. Make sure we ain't got no bubbles coming off of our solder. Still hot over there. I don't see no bubbles. Nah, it's good. Alrighty. We are just over 250. Let's see what it does. <laughs> well, we definitely have a leak still. The only place it can be is in the a uh, heat exchanger going up the wall and it could be right there at the wall that's why we're getting an indication inside or it's somewhere we just can't see the bubbles so the leak detector found the leak but we can't see it with our eyes so she's a no fix man i wish i could get my eyes on it if i could find the bubbles we could uh jb weld it and redneck fix it but this evaporator kit is $300. You just can't fix them if that's the problem. It stinks. Oh well, can't win them all. On to the next one. I got another Frigidaire with a leak. Maybe we can find that one. Let's give it a go. So yeah, thank you Top Test for sending me this to review. I am liking it. I give this a thumbs up for sure because it knew right off the bat there was Freon in this freezer. Could have stopped the video right there and saved us a lot of hassle, but I wanted to try and find it. So the key word today is sniffer. We got us a new sniffer. <laughs> uh, you know I had to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and if you want one, go check them out. They work. I'm going to continue to test this baby on air thing. Air conditioners. Ice machines. <laughs> Big ACs, trucks. <laughs>
and most importantly, stanky ice boxes. Woo! Alrighty, so first video thoughts on the new sniffer. Thanks Top Test for sending this to me for free to review. And I'll leave a link in the description and a 10% discount code if you want one down there too. First use thoughts, it's great. It saves a lot of time. I, with no Freon in the refrigerator, put it in there, no beep. When I put some gas in it, let it run, put it in there, Freon leak in the evaporator. We bypassed all the lines where it could be and still leaking. Um, so we know it's in that evaporator. It's too expensive to fix on this one, but hey, if you had a dual evaporator unit that had dual cools, you could put it in the fridge, beep, put it in the freezer. We know we got a fridge leak. So yeah, super cool, mega time saver. And at a good price point, at just over a hundred bucks, you can't beat it. And it's got a three year warranty. Some of the thousand dollar units, they got one or sometimes two year warranties. So three year warranty, man. Just think about all the units that are in a house or that people own that have Freon. Ice machines, dehumidifiers, ACs, refrigerators, freezers, wine coolers. I mean, vehicles, it's a lot. So, hey, having a sniffer around, it's going to come in handy, y'all. So, thank Top Test. Thanks Top Test for sending this to me. I'm going to put it to the test. Uh, I've got plenty of units around here that got leaks. This freezer. Another Frigidaire inside. So, let's do it. I like it. Thumbs up from LA. Later. <laughs> Bummer we couldn't fix it, but the new tool did its job. See y'all tomorrow.